All right. Let's. All right. Let's fourth let's times the charm. Fourth times the charm. Fourth times the charm. Fourth times the charm. Fourth times the charm. I don't know why there's an echo. I don't know why there's we'll see what happens. All right. Let's see. All right, let's see how the audio goes. see monitoring output testing Does my voice sound strange at all? It was sounding like super high pitched for some reason. All right. I don't know what it is. This is like the fourth time I've tried this. So. All right. Well, we are live. So let's do that. Yay. Finally. All right. So I bought plugins this week and, uh, yeah, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with them. I got this one. This is what showed up on my Facebook page. It was literally, literally, uh, Hey, do you want video game sounds? Cause I got video game sounds for you. So let's find one that sounds cool. Game boy lead. I mean, what could go wrong with a, a sound called Game Boy Lead, right? <laughs> uh, it's like a don't go out alone, take this with you kind of thing. Yeah, sounds like a Game Boy. And it's just a mono, mono lead. So yeah, that, if you wanna if you wanna get a big old nerd to spend a couple hundred bucks on plugins, this is how you do it in their Facebook feed. Um, <laughs> that's gonna be a clip, right there. So, uh, for those that don't know me, and my name's Sean. I own a studio, and uh, I need to do something with it. So this was my COVID project. Um, and as you can see back there, back there, back there, there's a bunch of guitars. That's what I am. I'm a guitarist. I do rock, metal, blues. Um, I can do singer songwriter stuff, did nineties cover bands for a while. Um, I can also do, you know, orchestral stuff you know, composing orchestration, you know, big sweeping melodic things and nice sweeping emotional piano stuff and things. So I, mean, I can do the... I can do all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, Y'all can even see my keyboard. Um, logic right. Let's see... Hey, there you go. There you go. Now you can see my piano. I was playing around with this piano the other day and uh, ended up doing accidental uh, 
accidental heart. And it's a... So if you can get that kind of sound, yeah, it's a good piano. Anyway, I can do all that kind of stuff. So I've got all these, all these instruments, all these plugins, all the, the software instruments. I need to do something with them. So um, my thought was, you know, once a week, try to um, pick a few plugins, see if I can find some inspiration, and uh, create some create some music. All right, I've I've got all these plugins. Um, might as well do something with them. And uh, if you can see my screen, you know, all these instruments, all these, uh, you know, let's, go, let's go look at, it's all these instruments, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of gigs of plugins that do all sorts of things, drums, uh, synthesizers, ethereal earth, literally it's called ethereal earth. And it does the, the big swooping It does that. So got a lot of those. So let's uh, let's let's see if we can create something. You know, I don't know how long the stream's gonna last. And like I said, this is the fourth time that I've tried to do this tonight, and it's uh, it's died on me for for whatever reason or another. So uh, let's let's see what we can do. Um, What kind of music do we want to go with tonight? Uh, we can do, let's do an orchestra, orchestral type of thing. Um, so a couple of different methods that I've used for orchestral stuff. Um, you know, if, if you play it on a piano and it sounds good, it's probably going to sound pretty good in a multi-part string section, right? So um, the, you know, I can do... Uh, you know, mapping out a particular piece or a particular arrangement on piano is, is always a good place to start. So... So, if you can find the melody, find the root that you want, and then you can transpose it to the, um, the underlying parts later, um, it'll kind of give you a good sense. Um, so, doing stuff in piano... Doing stuff in you know, major string libraries is always a good thing to uh, just to kind of get the idea down, and then you can spread it out into various parts to make it sound better. So, um, a lot of string libraries that have all of the parts, they don't really sound any good by themselves. They're it, one good thing. So the cello doesn't sound really good. The highs don't sound really good. Um, they're all just kind of there. Um, but it gives you the foundation, it gives you the bed where then you can start translating, saying, okay, I, I want, I know I want a bass line to do this, I want a cello part to do this, I want a viola part to mimic the cello, but an octave higher. Um, and then you can go and find the the cellos and the basses and the violas and the, the woodwinds and the brass that, that sound better than the collective library. Um, so... Um, I've got a plugin. This is one of those plugins that I bought this week um, from the Facebook ad. You know, the guy with the trench coat said, "Hey, you want some plugins? I got some plugins." Um, and it's called Augmented Orchestra, and it's got um, you know strings, brass, winds. You know, it's got chordal stuff. I haven't even gone through all of these, um, all of the presets yet. Um, so let's let's go through a few of them and uh, see if I can get some inspiration. Um, this is gonna be more staccato um, Baroque. Um, it's literally called V-Strings Baroque, so it's gonna be the very short, tight. It's gonna do that kind of stuff. Um, it's got a cool harmonizer where it'll do, you tell it what kind of chords you want. So um, I like doing stuff in B. B minor, so if I play B minor scale, and let me get the. So 
So it'll do the it'll do the chords. Um, let's see what else do we got. This one's V string Collegno. I don't know what that means. Oh, more of that. Let's see what else we got. Oh, here we go. Now we're cooking. Uh, let's see if we can do something with that um, to get some level of foundation. Um, let's see if I can adjust the attack a little bit to get it to come in a little faster. Um, preset part, no edit. Let's see. So I literally just got this plug in like two days ago. So I don't know. Oh, here we go. Gain, pan, attack. Let's bump up that attack. Let's see if that helps at all. And then let's do number two. Well, let's link them. So now I should, you know, if I all the way up, that should, yep, there we go. All right, let's see. That's a little better. It's not as fast as I'd like, um, but it's better. Oh, here, well, can I adjust that? I don't know. Smooth, zero. Yeah, that's all right. Um, all right, let's see. Let's let's just do 120. Um, that's perfectly fine. Let's. Is this working tonight? Hey, that is working tonight. Sweet. All right, so let's do click track and let's see what we can get. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna loop. We're gonna do it in B, B minor. So it'll be a See, I already don't even like that. It's uh, not fast enough to get ideas down. Um, let's let's add a piano. And let's use that. Um, let's use that as the uh, as the foundation. Oh come on! Get rid of that. Let's save and logic quit. That's all right. We'll open it back up. I just recently moved all of my ones and ones that did tried to open. Um, it did not like the location, so we're gonna we're just gonna ignore that one for now. We'll just do uh, the the piano that I was playing playing earlier. All right, let's try this again. He learns. Um, there we go. All right, so let's put the loop on four forty one twenty. Let's see what we can. Uh, oh, 
helps if I play in the right key too. I'll quick check on. I just want to play it. Find a good melody and good, a good tagline. Something to, something to start and create the, the mood. That's not bad. Um, let's let's just do. Let's record that and see what we can, what we'll come up with. Just that just that line. tempo eh, that's a little too fast um, let's see Let's get a tempo. We'll see if I can do a let's do a smart tempo or tap tempo metronome. Let's see. Just do it on my phone real fast. Cause that's easier. Tempo metronome. It's literally just an app called Metronome. Ninety-five. So let's try ninety-five. There we go. Maybe a little slower. Maybe let's try eighty, eighty-eight. Let's we'll see if that works. Two. Three, four. All right, that's a better tempo. So now let's try just recording that that melody line. the same way more than once. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's use that as our base template to get an idea down. Now we're going to take all these notes, we're going to quantize them 
And for those who don't know, quantize is a basically it takes all the notes, looks at um, the tempo and what subdivision of notes that you want to um, divide them into, and it uh, you know puts them on the puts them on the uh, the timeline. So. So, yeah, so it's right on beat, right on the beat. So, we're gonna, let's loop that and see if we can get uh, get some interesting um, uh, lower melodies to go with it. Well, that's a standard, uh, that's a standard type of melody for that because I can just do so let's do uh, let's add a software instrument let's add another one we're gonna do um, let's do let's do one of those string sections so actually, I've got I've got one from a company called Spitfire, and this one is actually it's called the BBC Orchestra, and it's literally the BBC Orchestra. Um, oh, what is this not working? No, oh, because the plugin's broken. Uh, If that if that plugin's broken, I'm sure there's a bunch of others that are broken. So let's no five one. I don't have Dolby Atmos. Not stereo. Let's there's a string section in here. This is uh, Native Instruments. They're kind of one of the the big staples of plugins and and hardware um, for studios. So I mean I've got you know. Anyway, here's my strings. So let's do, let's try that one. So that's cool. So they actually break. It can actually break them up into into different subparts. So there's my bass. And there's the cello. And there's the there's the viola, and then. There's the violin, and then we're gonna. That's probably gonna be my. Um, not what is that? That's a velocity switch for switching thresholds. So let's see, smart voice split. So I can turn off smart voice split or turn it on. So as I play, it'll just automatically split. So. Okay, so what it's doing there is it's literally taking the notes. And adding the other octaves because I'm only playing in the violin section. If you can see on my hand right here, this this is all violin section up here. Um, so viola. Right there, cello is going to be here. Cello and bass and then here. It's adding the others, so I don't necessarily want that. So let's turn that off and then. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, I'm gonna take this. Let's double it. Just give myself some more right there.
like that last note, but uh, that's okay. Let's do... Uh, let's go ahead and put that on A. There. I like I like that second minor. So why didn't that copy over? Um, let's try this. This is right there. And this is, nope. Put it right here. Yeah, let's see if that does it. So let's add let's add some more uh, let's add some more velocity to these low notes so they hit a little harder. So as you can see, they all hit about 54. So let's just bring them up just a little bit so they have some more weight behind them. So um, let's come over here. I'm gonna add another let's add another layer. Let's just play around with it and see what we got. interesting thankfully there's this magic button called capture record button so it's the hey that's kind of cool button so let's uh let's play that back um we can definitely talk about it later last chord to be a B major so we're gonna or a, not a B major a B minor so we're gonna take that we're just gonna listen to it back or maybe an A major it, it can be um, yeah it definitely can be that in draw that all up and make that make that a little bit higher Boop, there we go that 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 I want to hear that transition. Alright, and then I'm going to take this one. No, I want to do... Uh, let's try it and let's see how that goes. That's better. All right. 
Um, let's do, what else do we want to add? So let's flesh out, let's flesh out the, you know, if this is an intro, which is fine, let's flesh out the, the piano a little bit more to give it some more body, some more depth um, that we can build off of from that. Um, so if we're in, you know, if we're on the, if we're on the piano, so we've got, um, let's see, let's just play it, let's play around again, give, give me some space to roll in. Helps if I play the right notes. And I don't play piano. I'm a guitar player, but that's all right. something like that. We're going to split that there. Alright, so let's play around with some humanization. I like where that's going, but I want it I don't want it corded. I want it arpeggiated. So I think I think I have a an audio effect. No, it's a MIDI randomizer. Repeater, scripter, velocity. Let's no randomizer. Let's see if that helps. No. Um, let's let's. I bet I can play it again. Let's see. So we were doing G. Oh. So that's what the arpeggiator does. I don't necessarily want that. Uh, let's turn that off. Um, I found a couple of other unit. Uh, a couple of other things that. Let's see if maybe we got something here. Oh, no. Let's go again. Audio unit. Add a folder. This is what happens when you move move crap. Let's try that. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Cancel. All right. So pitch, velocity. Just turn it all on and see what happens. Yeah. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. But that's alright. Let's uh let's see, let's turn it down for uh, eighth notes. Well that's what that does. Randomizer. Two off the one. 
No, that's not what I want. That's going to be more for synth stuff that we'll do later. So let's turn that off and let's just... Uh... Let's try it again. I was going, I was going somewhere. That's the problem. That's one of the problems that you have when somebody has uh, all of this by themselves. They, there's nobody there to tell them, uh, no, that sounds good. Maybe I need, let's try maybe going up here. something with that. Let's see. Keeping it simple. strings carry the underlying uh, underlying melody we're going to quantize to the eighth note no hopefully I'm still live ah that's interesting I have a the drive that I record the videos to, for whatever reason, is uh, disconnecting. So it stopped recording, but that's all right. I'm still live, I think. All right, so let's see what we got. No, it's too hot. Too hot. Got something there. A few more measures. So let's do uh, let's do an accompanying uh, accompanying string part and see what happens. So. too complicated. 
let's see. Let's do a... Let's do another part. Let's see. Yep, didn't like that, eh? Take uh, all that and adjust the velocity, make it a little bit more. Uh there needs to be a counter beat in the piano part so let's let's see if we can put one so Something simple. Let's let's try it again. This won't necessarily ever be music that I have to play live. Because I can't read music. So I'm just literally making this up as I go based off of what sounds good. Let's just hear that by itself. No, I don't like that dissonance.
foot pedal. No, that's not going anywhere. Um, maybe if we got the, no, we have a lead part. Let's drag that over here. Maybe we can do something else with the piano that's more uh, apt and fits the strings. not on that one. Let's try just a pedal note. Let's just try that. That's interesting. Let's quantize it all. See, let's add. I've got a, I've got a decent choir. Let's see, what, let's see how much we add some choir in here.
pieces. Let's bring that up just a wee bit. I don't know where I want to go with this, but I think I've got the cords off just a smidgen. So we're going to take... I think that's the problem right there. So let's put that there. Put you the night right there. I want that that last chord to hit a little bit harder. Sorry if this is boring. This is this is what music creation and orchestration can be like. You know, finding finding the right chords, finding the right transitions, finding what works, cleaning up messes. At least for somebody that's not classically trained. Move those to there. Two. Big chord. Okay, so that needs to be on right there. Two. One. Actually, let's... Let's hold that. See how that sounds. Something just isn't sitting right with me. And I th think I've screwed it up a bunch. Let's drag that over here and see what happens. 
let's try another string. So I have some chords, some, you know, direction. So we're going to do, if we're, in, if we're in B, we're in B minor. We can go up to the D flat minor. Or that would actually be the C sharp minor. No, it would be C sharp... Uh, C sharp diminished. Yeah, C sharp diminished. Let's try that. Let's see how that goes. We're gonna start with we're gonna start with that and then resolve to the B. Let's see how that goes. a little bit better. Alright, now I kind of know where I'm going, so let's try. I still want to keep the vocals uh, simple. So. so let's try this and see how it goes. Let's try that. That D needs to drop down a minute. Needs to drop down right there. Let's see if we can go. Yeah, right there. I'm going to go adjust the settings so I don't have to keep starting over on the on the note, it's project settings, general, any chase, notes. I should be able to start in the middle of a note now. Ooh. Well, maybe. Sustained. Go back a little bit.
I adjusted the attack and the decay a little bit so it flows a little bit better. transitions. I think that's okay. Let's add maybe some drones or some some dust of more plugins, more plugins. Let's see what we got in here. I've got uh, some more piano. Let's go meteor. I think the meteors are like. I think they're literally hits. Yeah. That's kind of cool, but I don't know if it'll fit. Oh, orchestral hits. Let's see if that works. Let's see what we let's see what we can add. Got there's notes there, okay. Huh, well, that's interesting. Okay, there's the there, okay, there's the note. Let's turn all that off. Uh, I'm liking that's interesting. Let's try some of these. Nope. Sounds like uh, the Decepticons. Okay, nothing there. We've got another one that's got some other hits. So I think if we put some, I think we, if we put some percussion, it'll give it a driving It'll give it a driving force that I think it's currently missing. Uh, modern trailer. <laughs> In a world. What version? No, that one. Contact. Let's do Contact Seven Stereo. Oh, no. That was the old one. This is I got forty six hundred presets. Surely there's gonna be some sort of hit that we can do. All right. Fairy and free days. Is it this one? Yeah, there it is. 
Alright. Yeah, I don't like that one. Where's my uh, presets? Nope, I don't like any of those. See what we got here. Well, that's cool. I didn't think I was gonna I didn't think I was gonna like that. Oh, well, I screwed something up. I pushed a button and I screwed something up. I think that's it. Alright, so let's try let's Just to uh, go back. So I'll make these, you know, even. These are. See, I don't want that to be 83. It's certainly, that's like, yeah, I don't want that. Let's make them. So let's make them all 75. Ish. All right, we're gonna quantize these to be every quarter note. There you go. this whole thing and I want to shift it there because I, I want to start I just had this thought I want to take I want to start with a choir I want to start with the let's see What's the first note? What's the first? Okay, so let's bring that. I'm gonna bring that down to a, a G. Nope, that was G sharp.
Okay, yeah. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna start here. Jamie region. Put it right there. We're gonna start it with a simple choir. Just. Bring it, maybe bring it down a smidgen. Offset right down, just boom. Okay. Yeah. Helps if I play it in time. Even simpler. So I want to go down to that G major. So we'll start with a D. That needs more bass. So we're gonna take all of these and let go. Can we just drop these down? Oh no, we won't okay, that's a B2, so we wanna go down. Let's go to F sharp. base to that section. There we go. 
F sharp. Okay, that needs that needs to be a G. It's already a G. So we've got um, here's the problem is that you, when you've got so many different options and you don't have a map or anything to uh, you know anchor yourself to you just you just keep adding right you just keep adding and, it, and it's not necessarily to it's not necessarily to the uh, good lord that camera's bright. Um, it's not necessarily to the benefit of the track, right? So it's one of those things that um, sometimes you need to know when to stop, or when you're not when you're not adding um, you're not adding to the um, you know, adding to the, the 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 benefit of the track itself. So, um, like, and like for example, in this in this plugin, we've got sustains, we've got legato. So that's going to be your good kind of your solo playing. You've also got Portamento. So you can slide into it. So all these different all these different textures um, and capabilities uh, that you don't you know, it's a you get into analysis paralysis, right? So, you know, we've been on here for what? 45 minutes oh an hour and 20 minutes and we've written uh, that's a, a minute and a minute and 43 seconds of you know honestly subpar um subpar stuff with just literally four plugins uh, let's see what we had there Oh, see, I forgot to change the the texture back to um, legato. base to that one see like you know, something happened
So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop it for the night. Um, I don't know if I'll keep this idea. Um, you know, maybe the, the, the first part, the, you know, the, that part, I'm going to keep that. That may sound cool with a guitar or something. So, you know, I think for the next, uh, the next time I'm going to try to be a little bit more prepared as far as, um, having an idea of you know, the type of song that I want to do. I want to do something next time with my guitars um, and some more heavier stuff, um, play around with the um, some drum machines, some drum plugins that I've got for um, you know, literally replacing a drummer with just, you know, not necessarily AI generated. You can't go say, hey, Ch chat GPT, give me a give me a fat beat it doesn't quite work that way but there's some options for for creating tracks to write riffs to and i want to do a you know a heavy thing with some synthesizer stuff um anyway um i think that's going to be the next time i'll probably do uh, i'll probably do that on tuesday night um because i want to i want to space these out a little bit so um I hope that anybody that was watching or anybody that watches this in the future, you know, found some level of entertainment out of this. Um, you know, eventually I want to get to some really interesting stuff that'll stretch my imagination, um, with some complete random, um, some complete random options of plugins and some feedback and in interaction with you know, the folks that watch and say, Hey, go look, go add this plugin and then on the fly change. So, uh, forcing myself to really think outside the box on on various compositions and capabilities. So that's that's the long term goal of this. You know, force myself to become a better musician, force myself to become a better producer, um, and maybe entertain some people along the way. So I will um, go ahead and end it here. I appreciate everybody that you know came to tune in or will tune in later. Um, this has been Sean with Big Nerd Studios, and I uh, hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks.